DICE really messed up when they announced Portal before Hazard Zone. Hazard Zone, while it looks to be pretty fun, it's kind of lackluster in terms of Portal. So let's jump in and talk about some of the biggest reasons to play Battlefield 2042 Portal over any of the other modes. Let's jump right in. Welcome. 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 Welcome to Uplink. But before we jump into that, I want to talk to you about the Battlefield show. Myself and Sammy Boy every week talk about all the things going on in the world of Battlefield 2042. So definitely make sure to hop in and join us each week, every Friday, as we dive deeper into the world of Battlefield 2042. So you're probably, maybe not, but you're probably like, whoa, Sage, calm down there, pal. What about All Out Warfare? And my response to you would be, well, you can play it in Portal. And I think that is ultimately the core of what makes Battlefield Portal so impactful to Battlefield 2042. Ultimately, I don't think there is enough content in the base Battlefield experience to warrant the $60 price tag. Now, it's a little bit of a controversial topic, but it has come up pretty frequently. But that's just in the main mode. We also have Hazard Zone. We also have Portal. Hazard Zone, I mean, depending on how they update it, it could be fantastic, could be horrible, but I think it's it's definitely going to be consistent in it. It has the opportunity or the possibility to get kind of boring, but that is not the case with Battlefield Portal. Honestly, Sammy and I were talking about this on the Battlefield show, which you should totally check out, but it, it's like they made three different games on Battlefield and we're like, ah, well, we tried Hardline and people didn't really buy it, so let's just put it all into one game. And I think that's ultimately what Battlefield 2042 is. Let me let me dive a little bit deeper though into what makes Portal so impactful to Battlefield as a, as a whole series, honestly. I want to start first with kind of the positives and then we can go into some of the concerns possibly around Battlefield Portal and some of the problems it could have. But starting off with the positives, you can make any experience that you want to. If there's any, pretty much anything that you don't like about Battlefield 2042, you can adjust it. If you don't like specialists, turn them off. Implement classes into the game, bring them back. You can turn on all the equipment, but have only classes in Battlefield Portal. And that's that's gonna be very, very impactful. It, just right off the bat, that in and of itself is groundbreaking. You're going to get a level of control that you've never seen in a Battlefield game before. And that is huge and the core of what Battlefield Portal is. So giving a little bit of an example here, they have this on the official Battlefield website on some of the level of control and customization that you can have with Battlefield Portal. And again, like I said in the beginning, they launched it at the wrong time. Honestly, they should have launched Hazard Zone first and then announced Portal later because I think that would have been the proper hype ramp. Because Hazard Zone, obviously, honestly, it hasn't excited me now the more that I think about it after the whole experience of getting more details and it's been like okay yeah it's kind of it's just it's a mode i probably play a crap ton of it but i think portal may be the one that i play it more of we'll see once the game actually launches but here's an example of some of the level of customization that you'll have in the game you can adjust the factions in terms of which soldiers, weapons, and vehicles can compete on the battlefield. That's a direct quote there. And they, they use the example, want to pit a 1942-era team against foes outfitted with modern weapons and tech? You can go for it. And they also say this around mobility. You can disable slash enables players' ability to aim down sights, go prone, and more. So you can adjust what they can do to guide the experience and type of game that you want to make in Battlefield. You can also customize the level of regeneration. You can turn off sprinting if you want that ultimate 1942 experience. So you can, you can make, let's say you want an authentic Battlefield 3 experience. Well, you can change the settings to replicate what Battlefield 3 offered at the time, for better and for worse. You can change the huds up display, you can change the mini map, you can limit how or what weapons people can choose from, you can also control the number of players for each team and which weapons weapons they have access to and you can you you want to say hey your your buddies over there and say you know what i've got the best skills with melee i can kill anybody no matter what weapon they have well, you can say okay well you buddy your your team's going to only have melee 
and my team's only going to have snipers. You could do that, or you can have the opposite. And that's just from the settings page that you'll be able to change when you set up on the console or the PC. If you want an even deeper level of control for your creations in Battlefield Portal, you'll also have the web... I'm sorry about this 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 pun here you'll have also have the web portal that you can use and customize where it's basically block editing and you can adjust the tiniest of details like you want gravity to be a certain way or do you want a certain player to be affected in this way if you want a certain faction if you want the map to behave this way you can't really change the layout of the map but you can adjust what things happen i think you can also adjust the the boundaries of the map like the level of control that you'll have on the block editor pretty much is so much deeper than even the settings and that is already very impactful now let's talk about some of the concerns and the issues battlefield 2042 portal may have so i think the biggest thing will be discovery everyone's going to have the opportunity and the ability to create their own matches and I'm not talking about just discovery of the games, but that's also going to be a thing, but also discovery of what changes have been made to that specific server that you'll be joining. And there's going to be multiple ways that you can play through Battlefield Portal matches. One will be a kind of curated, uh, again, <laughs> The puns just write themselves, but a curated portal that they'll have when you load up into the Battlefield Portal section. You're going to load up and you're going to say, okay, which ones do I want to play? And they'll have the dice selected ones. They'll also have dice created ones. And then you'll also be able to search the broader community of Battlefield Portal games. And I think one of the biggest issues is you're going to hop in, like maybe you want to play Gunmaster or a game like Gunmaster, but they only have pistols and shotguns. And you're like, ah. Oh, don't want to play only pistols and shotguns well you're gonna to have to hop out and try to find something else and you're gonna to have to discover these things and if someone has tweaked it very specifically you may not like how they tweaked it very specifically so then that's gonna lead you to create your own match and then you're gonna to have to be fighting against bots or hoping that someone will join it so there's all of these different things that will be introduced as problems that weren't in battlefield previously but again that's that's the joy of it and they're going there's going to be a discovery point where a bunch of people hop into portal and they're going to find out a bunch of different modes and then we're going to have the core people like maybe little johnny is going to find out that he doesn't really like playing through battlefield portal and creating those maps but Susie over here is like yeah i'm really good at this so i'm going to continue making these maps and making these game modes and there's going to be these core people that you're going to be like i really like this person's designs in battlefield portal so i'm only going to play modes that this person makes I think that's going to definitely be the case, but it's going to give you a level of control that you haven't had before. And then that's going to introduce chaos and everyone's going to be like, oh my gosh, it's so hard to find matches. And then there's going to be a period where people hop off and you're going to be able to jump in and find a robust terms of kind of community around it. So Portal is the mode that's really going to keep this game alive probably three to five years from now, depending on what decisions they make with the next Battlefield game, or if there is a Battlefield game, or if they continue to update this one. But I don't think Battlefield 2042 is really designed in a way that is going to be added to five years from now. I mean, it'd be great if they made that as a platform, but it's not really set up in that way and they didn't really develop it in that specific game aspect. I mean, crossplay was added later on in development. There's all of these different bugs. Crossplay's been inconsistent so far. They're, they're definitely learning this new future and they don't have a free to play side of things so it can't bring in that audience so it's not really set up as a platform to build on top of quite yet but it is they've, they've said it is a defining chapter in the future of battlefield games so stuff that's going to be introduced here is going to be refined and worked on later on so i think it's going to be very fascinating to see what happens in battlefield portal let me know your thoughts on it I'd love to hear kind of some of your favorite modes and maybe we'll do a video on your ideas for modes in battlefield portal Battlefield Portal. I think that'd be pretty fun. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, definitely do consider subscribing. And if you like this video, hit like. If you dislike this video, the other button works as well. As always, we'll see you on the battlefield.